Welcome back to part two of the installation video for the SMCO Ultimate D-Series subframe kit. Here is the supplied bracket that connects the rear torque mount to the engine. By hand, install the supplied hardware, making sure not to cross it the bolt into the transmission case. last episode we installed the left upper engine mount prior to installing the upper subframe. Here we will install the right upper engine mount. Next we install the exhaust manifold. Now it's time to install the engine. We have a lift table in the lift here, but if you don't have access to that, you can try to get the front of the Mini as high as possible to be able to slide the engine through the wheel well and lower the car onto the engine. You can also build a little stand out of 2x4s and shim the engine so it stands upright on its own. Make sure you have enough clearance in these areas, the two back corners, the front of the engine with the lip behind the grill. Line up the holes of the engine mount and the tapered bolts on the engine. double check to make sure that you have no clearance issues before proceeding. Add some Loctite to all the nuts and bolts here as they will see vibration from the engine. You will reuse these fasteners from your engine so make sure they are included when you pull the engine from your donor car. Tighten all these down, uh, making sure they are seated nice and flat with the mating surface. There's no need to torque them down at this point. Back one is tight on space, so use a wrench. Now we can install the rear engine steady. This steady is actually the front right engine steady that comes on a factory Civic or Del Sol. 
There will be a supplied bolt as well as a supplied sleeve that goes over the bolt. Get everything in place here with all the bolts put in place uh, and make sure everything fits nicely before we do the final torque gun. Install the bolt from the top, so if it comes loose, the bolt won't fall out. Make sure before you install the engine that you install the supplied transmission fill bolt as this will give you some tolerance to the subframe. You can fill the transmission fluid using either the speedo drive or the reverse switch on top of the gearbox in the future. Now we can tighten the rear engine steady. In doing so, it will put the engine into place and at the correct angle and allow the top engine mount bolts to be torqued. Every subframe we build, in addition to using our welding jig, we also install an engine to double check that there is no fitment issues. For the back bolt, you'll most likely won't be able to fit a torque wrench in there, so use a wrench, go by feel, and tighten it in the same as the other engine steady bolts. 28 foot-pounds isn't too much, you don't need to over tighten them. Remember to lock tight all of these bolts as well. Next we're going to install the shifter and the exhaust mid-pipe. We like to use the factory rod change mini shifter as it feels great and retains another aspect to the mini driving experience. We modify the shifter housing using heim joints to hold the shift rod in place and use U joints to make the connections. We also bend the shifter steady bar to mate up to the Honda transmission. And here is our mid-pipe. As you can see, it uses two V-bands as well as a support bracket that bolts the exhaust onto the engine. Install the tie rods included with the kit to the lower subframe. Included with these tie rods are zinc plated adjustable tie rod ends made in house. The lower subframe will just slide up and go around the outside edge of the upper engine mounting arms. Once you have it in place, hand thread a few bolts in, making sure not to cross thread them to hold the lower subframe up while you work. If you're having trouble, you can use a punch or a big screwdriver to pry the lower subframe up in place. Here I'm loosening up the bolts on the lower subframe mount where they attach to the subframe. 
they can slightly pull the subframe out of alignment and make it just a little bit more difficult to get the bolts in. With these loosened off, you should be able to get the lower bolts into the subframe. Just remember to tighten the rear subframe mounts back up after. We recommend marking these bolts with a paint pen so you can double check the torque visually after a couple hundred kilometers of driving. Sometimes the powder coat can squeeze a little bit and the bolts will need to be retorqued. Now we're going to install the front subframe to body mount. We supply a set of laser cut washers made out of Delrin, which you can stack together to get the perfect fit. Some cars may need two, some cars may need three. The mini front ends can get misaligned and warped over the years, so instead of putting the front end in to meet the subframe, we use stackable spacers to ensure a perfect fit for your car. And there you have it. I hope you found this video helpful. Uh, stay tuned for episode three, where we're gonna go over all the extra accessories that we have that complement this kit. Thanks for watching.